So this next one, we're getting into our misdirections now. So instead of going with the basketball, like when we floated, we're gonna go away from the basketball. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pound with my right hand and I'm gonna float the opposite way. So balls in my right hand, I'm gonna float, land in that split stance to the left, all right? It's gonna be more challenging, but I promise if you guys get this, you're gonna start shifting more defenders. We're gonna go five each way, here we go. Shift, go back, shift. So now it's important we land in this split stance, right foot up, left foot back, so we can attack the opposite way. Shift, three, four, shift, five, left side. Shift, shift, shift. Two more, last one. So this next one we're gonna do our between the legs misdirection. Similar to the float, we go between, but instead of going with the basketball, we're now going away from the basketball. So it's shift, landing that split stance to go opposite. Here we go, 10 total. One, two, three. So really test your ball control. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10. The next one is a behind the back misdirection. This may be the most challenging. However, it's my favorite. I sh I've shifted a lot of defenders using this move. So again, just like the float, we're behind the back, but now we're going away from the basketball. So I'm here, shift opposite. It's gonna be challenging for some of you. I want you to try it, even if it's hard. Here we go, 10 total. Shift. Two. Shift. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, shift, nine, ten. This next one is a behind the back misdirection. This is gonna be again one of the most challenging, but if you guys can get this, you're really gonna take your ball handling and ball control to the next level. Here we go. Shift, ah, here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the last drill of today is gonna be the same thing, but a misdirection, see how far we can go. So now I'm here, misdirect, see as far as I can go. I can do a pound cross between or behind. Here we go. Oh. Oh. You're gonna have to change hands if you're doing a cross between or behind. Five, shift, six, oh. seven. Ah, I lost it, sorry, eight. Nine, last one, shift. Try that out. You're really gonna improve on your ball control, your shiftiness, that may be really challenging, so do it over and over again until you get it.